quick disclaimer if you're watching this video on an empty stomach you might want to go grab a snack or something We've been living in Tbilisi for about two weeks now and we've noticed that there's a lot of street food around the old town and by street food I don't mean like the kind of street food that you get in Southeast Asia, places like that but there's a lot of food here that you can buy on the street or eat on the street in some way and somehow we've resisted trying any of it so today we're on an epic mission here in Tbilisi to go and try as much of the street food here as possible I think we've already found our first target of the day we've just seen this place called Good mood food it looks like it sells some Georgian bread or pastries and uh, I'm already in a good mood just looking at it Lobiani, that's how it's written anyway. It's like a doughy thing with beans and spices in it apparently and I have no idea how you're supposed to eat it. Probably with your mouth. It's like beans in a pot which I had the other day in Kazbeki but inside bread and the bread's kind of sweet as well. If you ever come to Tbilisi, one thing you'll notice very, very quickly is these things behind me. And for the first few days, we were like, what are these? We cannot figure it out. And if you've never seen these before, I want you to pause this video, go down to the pinned comment that I'm leaving down there and tell me what you think they are. Have a guess, what do you think this is? We thought they might be like sausages. We thought they might be like candles. They're actually walnuts and apparently they're covered in like grape juice and they come in all different flavors which is why there are so many different colors so the one I've got now I think is cherry and this is what it looks like it's kind of dangly so you kind of take it off the string and then, and then you can kind of see the walnuts inside Apparently these have been given the nickname Georgian Snickers. Georgian food is absolutely amazing. I think it's probably in like my top three countries for food now. But something they're also really proud of here and really famous for is their wine. And obviously I can't drink the wine myself because I'm allergic to it. So I think Nelly is gonna try I'm gonna some. I'm gonna volunteer here. <laughs> she, yeah. she's, it's people, a tough job. People always get the worst jobs when they're filming with me. <laughs> sweet as I expect it to be. It's really good.
somehow up to this point I've resisted trying any pomegranate juice here in Tbilisi and it's really really common there are stores everywhere and this is actually the first time I've tried it so couldn't drink the wine but I can enjoy the pomegranate juice at least it's so good so so good This is the kind of place that dreams are made of. They have coffee, they have milkshakes, and they have these bubble waffles that I've kind of seen everywhere over Europe. I saw them a lot in the Netherlands this summer, and uh, these guys have just ordered one, so we're gonna take a little look at what it actually is. I love strangers who share their food and they've <laughs> letting me try a little bit of their ice cream. They got an extra spoon for me. And that's good ice cream. Right. Now it's fine. You part. should probably try it. <laughs> 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 mm. yeah. It is. Yeah. Didn't your mothers never tell you to take candy from strangers? <laughs> okay. So it is just a waffle in the shape of bubbles. Mmm, it's all warm. It's so good. Yeah, that's good. Thumbs up for the bubble waffle. It is. So the last time I actually saw these was in London last month when I went home and apparently they're really popular all over the world but I've never tried one and they're like ice cream rolls and they basically put the cream on and it's icy and then somehow they turn it into this which looks incredible. I've got raspberries, I've got chocolate sauce. Oh it's so good. That's the one. Oh wow that is so good. Yeah, wow. Can I try some? Gonna change your life? Wow. It was really good. Really good. Yo. Yeah. The boys have gone off to shoot sunset. I'm pretty full now after all that food. And I, I don't think we're gonna beat this, so I'm gonna sign off here. It's too bad because it's really good. <laughs> it's so good, oh, it's going everywhere. <laughs> I hope this video has given you a little taste of the food here in Tbilisi. I'm sorry if it's made you hungry. I know people always say that the food videos make them hungry, but sorry. There'll be another Georgia video coming up on Sunday. I post every Wednesday and every Sunday. So that'll be up in a few days time and I hope I see you there.